Okay, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Prepper channel. So today's video, we're going to talk about how the world is running out of food and will run out of food in 27 years. Now, guys, according to scientists, again, with their bullshit, they're stating that the world is running out of food. So not just Africa, not just Europe or Asia, the entire world. So it's said that in 2050, again, part of their agenda, um, we'll have no food or way less food to supply the world. Now, I find that interesting because, um, bullshit. That's why I find it interesting. Guys, the constant reminder of no food or the constant, um, reminder of eat your bug, uh, eat cultivated meat, eat lab grown meat. It's a constant reminder that they, they will not stop beating the drum of. And again, guys, it's bullshit. It's, it's just bullshit. And that's the, that's the thing. It's all bullshit. And then if you notice the years, guys, that they keep mentioning things that happen, 2030, right? And then 2050. These are the two years that keep coming up. And it sounds like, guys, that they are on par for 2050 having no food, which is ultimately going to have us eat fake meat and or bug meat or bug products like, you know, cricket bread or uh, cricket spam or cockroach milk, you name it, you know, cricket burger. These are all the things. Now, there are other bugs, apparently, that they want to feed us, but there are so many things that are coming down the pike with these fake foods. Then you got Impossible Burger and their bullshit, right? So are we running out of food? Are we legitimately running out of food? And is it because 2050 we're going to hit 10 billion people on this planet? Who knows, guys? I mean, could that be a thing? Yes, it could be a thing, and I'll explain why. Now, before I explain why, scientists are saying, guys, that we have a 70% increase in people by the year 2070. I think we're at 9 billion now. I know that 10 billion is not 70%, but whatever, that's the, the, the math they're throwing at us. And they said it's just, they said it's a 70% increase from 2017. All right, whatever. So guys, the food problem can be solved, but here's the major issue. The major issue, guys, is that they are constantly attacking our farmers all over the world. Here in the United States, Canada, Europe, certain countries in Europe. You had countries like Denmark, Germany that had problems with their farmers or breaking their farmers' balls. You had Australia, if not mistaken, New Zealand, South Africa. All of these, even Chinese farmers and India farmers especially, are all being attacked at some point in time or for some bullshit reason or another. Now, guys, constant regulations and restrictions are the reason why our farmers are having these issues. They're also not being funded correctly when they should be funded because they are providing food for this nation and nations around the world. Now, of course, guys, if you keep breaking farmers balls, if you keep uh, handing them regulations, keeping them, giving them more restrictions, having these guys commit suicide like they are left and fucking right, having farmers lose their land to companies, organizations, and or eminent domain, again, all over the world, you're having less farmers farm less food. And when you have farmers farm less food, what do you have a problem with? Feeding people, all right? So if the population is growing, that means the farmer society organization population needs to grow as well. They need to grow with the amount of people. But if you keep restricting them and then telling them, oh, by the way, climate change, because you guys are growing X amount of cows, X amount of cattle, that's creating this problem with climate. So this is what we're going to do. More regulations, more rules, more restrictions. And so with that, guys, farmers are getting frustrated, fed up, losing their farms, quitting the farming industry. In India, they were killing themselves left and right. And so what do you think is going to happen? Less food's going to be produced. And if less food's going to be produced, grown or raised, what do you think is going to happen? There's going to be less food on this planet. So what do they come out with? They come out with the alternative. Oh, guys, we're going to have you eat lab grown meat. It's good, man. It's fucking, you know, it's good for the body. It isn't said no one ever. The problem with cultivated meat, guys, is we don't know the long term effects. That's the problem. And the fact that it's cultivated meat, they could do what they want to do with that meat. And we wouldn't know we they could put some genetic sequencing in it and we wouldn't know they could put arm tickets in it and we wouldn't know because they can program that meat to have whatever 
arm ticket they want in it. And there are other things. And then there are other things that they're using in this meat that we don't know what the long-term effects on the human body are going to be. So they push that bullshit. They put farmers out of business. They tell us there's going to be less food. And voila, we're eating fake meat and cricket bread. Cultivated meat with your cricket bread. Why not, right? So, and then all the other shit that they're adding, they're, they're starting to uh, do more with algae, the shit that's in the, the sea, if you will, but they're growing it in controlled environments. And so they have algae food on its way as well. Guys, it, it, again, it's on, their plan is on point. Their plan is on course, rather. And 2050, that's where we're going right now. We have that plan that people were telling me about years ago. And then, of course, I look into it. I'm like, holy shit. And now here we are, 2023, 27 more years. We're running out of food just in time for the 2050 plan. A little on the nose, a little too straightforward, but I hope more people are paying attention because all you got to do, guys, is research this shit for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to be like, that angry prepper nigga's lying. <laughs> you don't have to say any of that shit. Look it up for yourself. You'll see the facts and you'll see the plan unfolding for yourself. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.